Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Melissa and for today's video, we are going to be talking about my entire process with thrips. Many of you guys know on my Instagram and I've mentioned in several of my previous videos that I have been dealing with thrips for quite some time. It's actually almost been about two months now. Honestly, I have so much thrip footage that I took along the way and I am going to be kind of showing you some of that footage as like a vlog style and kind of going back initially to when I first found them and me going through my process with beneficial insects. And I want to share that process with you and you know what I found and how I went about treating it instead of me just like sitting here and talking at you because sometimes once you start talking it just kind of like I don't know I'm just a visual learner and it's easier to kind of go through that process in that sense rather than me just like spitting a bunch of information out at you. I will do individual chapters, you know, if you do want to skip around just to make it a little bit easier because I do have so much footage. But yeah, I do wanna share some of that footage that I did take and kind of my feelings and my thoughts during that time and how I feel about it now. Finding thrips initially, I kind of felt like, you know, it wasn't real or I didn't, I didn't, you know, find thrips. I kind of was like playing it down like, oh, this isn't thrips. Thrips are such an evil pest, you guys. And thrips can do so much damage in such a short amount of time. It's amazing how quickly they can spread and how quickly the damage happens. I have cut off so many leaves, like way more than I showed. I was cutting off new growth left and right. If it looked weird to me, or I had a suspicion that this plant could possibly have thrips, I was cutting leaves off. And it's really sad because it does affect the way your plant grows. You know, once you cut that plant, it's going to grow from a different node. So potentially you are you know, risking your plant when you cut it. If you don't catch thrips in time, they will spread throughout your entire plant room or your home because thrips do fly and they attack the new growth and they can kill your plant. Thrips are evil. They are evil pests. Even though it's such an annoying process and treating them, especially when you have a lot of plants, it is best to nip them in the butt early than letting it drag out. I would have gone back and done things differently if I could and not let it drag out for as long as it has for me. They have arrived and they're in my cabinet, all my plants. I haven't checked over my plants yet to see how many are actually infected, but I do know I spotted them on my Ethereums earlier today. And so I'm just getting around to kind of dealing with this situation tonight. And I kind of want to start a vlog just on my process and what I'm going to do and how I'm going to manage it. And I did order some beneficial insects today. I have not tried them before and I've really wanted to try them for pests. I always said if I'm going to get thrips one day, I want to do beneficial insects because I'm always terrified of thrips. I know how damaging and how like bad of a pest they can be. My cabinet is an absolute disaster. I haven't cleaned it in probably two weeks. The plants in here really need watered. So I'm just going to focus on spraying them off, spraying them down and watering everything, cleaning this really good and then putting everything back in here. I feel like they're going to be all over my plant room now. I just have like this weird feeling. So I'm gonna release the insects in my plant room too. I think it comes in like a pack of 10 sachets. So I'm gonna put one on each shelf in here, I think, and then I'm going to put them all around my plant room in different areas. And yeah, they're just going to eat the bad pests. That's the plan anyway. I know pests are really annoying to have and it's common, it's gonna happen. They are plants and they're gonna get pests eventually. So all we can do is just treat as we get them and even though it's frustrating try not to be too hard on yourself and beat yourself up because they are plants you know it's not the end of the world and i love plants they're so sentimental to me but it'll be okay so i'm going to do the best i can tonight and i'll definitely keep you guys updated on the progress this was like one of the first plants i just decided to look at and you can see like thrip on this one right there do you see those moving that is thrip larvae. So yeah, I, it's definitely coming from the moss because these were recent props that I did. 
and I found them, you know, on that anthurium today when I was looking at the new leaf. So I wouldn't be surprised if they're all over. I'm actually curious to know how many I actually spot them on. I do want to get as much as I can out of this moss and anything else in here, I'm just going to treat. I'm going to spray every plant in here. I'm going to hose it in the shower first, spray it off and then clean this out really good and then put everything back. So I wanted to show you, so this was a prop. I just dumped it out. This was my top cut that has a little bit of a root. So I'm going to go ahead and pop this into soil. Thrips are notorious for having damaged leaves and I'm going to show you right there. It kind of looks like something was eating it and it's definitely like misshapen. You can see it's like kind of defective and it's like unfurling weird. That is classic thrip damage there. I'm just not even gonna chance it. I'm gonna go ahead and just cut that off. And so the, the back of this leaf does have thrip. So I'm gonna rinse this off and the sink really good and spray it down with Cap and Jacks and go ahead and pop this up so that my root doesn't dry out. This is all the bottom shelf here. I gave everything a drink and sprayed everything down. And I didn't find thrips on any, any other plants on that bottom shelf, which is a little interesting why it was just on that one. All right, I just started to take down the alocasia, but I brought it into the light so you can see. I'm gonna zoom in on a thrip. Can you guys see him right there? He was moving. I only saw one on one alocasia, but I see some more on this burl marks. So that kind of damage is classic thrip damage. And I was trying to grow this thing again, you know, cause I had chopped it back once, but I'm gonna cut this whole thing off and just get rid of that. And then I'm gonna spray, spray the rest of this guy down. I wanna show you another example. So my Calathea ornata is covered in thrip larvae. And this is a new leaf here. You can see how it's misshapen there. Like something was eating it as it unfurled. And if you turn it over, you can see all the thrip larvae there, all those white little bugs moving. I'm gonna look through the rest of them. I might end up cutting some of the affected leaves off just to prevent further spread. And then I'll spray the whole thing down. But yeah, it's just a classic telltale sign that you have thrips is when there's damage like that with new growth. Right, I just wanted to show you guys the finished cabinet for tonight. It is really late and I am honestly so beat right now. But I ended up moving all of my anthuriums up here on this top shelf and I found thrips on every single one of them. So yeah, <laughs> I ended up just like spraying them all down. And the middle shelf, I had thrips on some alocasias, the calathea, the jewel orchid, the burl marks back there. And then the bottom shelf, I got rid of a lot of my props. Both of these had thrips. No, just one of them had thrips, I think. Yeah, and I repotted a lot of these guys that were in moss into soil. So I watered everyone in here and I clean this entire cabinet out, so it should be good until I get the beneficial insects. They should come, today is Saturday, no, it's technically it's Sunday, so they should come Wednesday or Thursday, so everything should be fine in here. I shouldn't have to water anyone else until I get those. I'll update you guys once I get those beneficial bugs, and I'll show you the process of me putting them in here, and then hopefully they'll get to work and hatch within a couple days and kill any remaining thrips possibly left in the cabinet because I didn't treat the soil. I just watered everything. I just sprayed the leaves. So there might still be thrips, you know, hanging out. Yeah, I'll definitely keep you guys updated and yeah, I'll be back on when I have more updates. So this is what the package came to me like. Nature's good guys, that's the name of the mites. And there's 10 sachets and that's the kind of mites that they target and also different kinds of thrips. It says hang slow release bags from the branches of the plants in the infested area. Do not lay flat on soil. Leave them on for at least three to six weeks to allow mites to emerge for best results. Maybe stored up to 24 hours. I don't know how well that's picking up the little mites that are crawling.
Can you guys see them moving in there? So since the last footage, I haven't been in here and I haven't really spotted any additional thrips, so I'm not sure, you know, how many is actually still in here. There, so I just attached it on the stem. Yeah, so that is me releasing them on my plants and I'm going to do like weekly updates. I'll show you guys, I'll come back on and show you guys the actual like beneficial bugs on the plant leaves and if I do encounter more thrips. If I feel like they're working, they're not working. Yeah, I'll pop back on when I have another update and yeah, I hope it works out well. So I will talk to you guys very soon. Hey guys, popping back on about the bug update. So it is the next day, the next evening. So I released all these yesterday about this time. It's been about 24 hours. It's been fun watching them kind of slowly release out of those sachets and crawl over the plants. And they've kind of like dispersed and I feel like I can't really see them that much now and, or they may just not have hatched that much yet. But I'll take you to my cabinet and we can look at the mite situation in there. So I put one on my Forgetii, my Clary, I put one on the Calathea, and then on the Florida Beauty. So the one that's on my Forgetii, I feel like I saw like an occasional mite climbing through on the leaves, but I don't really see too much anymore. So I feel like they've kind of dispersed and you can kind of see them mostly on the Clary. They're those white little dots. The camera's picking it up. There was a lot more earlier. So I think the ones that have hatched have come out of that sachet and have climbed over the plants. And then I guess they'll just slowly release out of there. You can kind of see one on the splendid there crawling. Do you see him a little bit up top? So there's a few kind of crawling around out of that one still, and it kind of spread to the glorious over there but I don't see a whole lot that's come out of that one. The ones that I put on my Ficus and Monstera, I haven't really noticed any crawl out of there. So yeah, I'll see how it, how it goes here and if I notice anything new or different or if they end up dying or they just, I don't really notice anything different, I'll definitely keep you guys updated. So that's it for now and I'll be back on with another update in several days. Hey guys, it's been like probably four or five days since I've updated on the beneficial insects and I don't really have much of an update, honestly. I still see them crawling on the plants that I put those sachets. So I still see them crawling around and they seem to be just, I don't know, I haven't noticed any new pest. I haven't seen like any new thrips in my cabinet. They seem to be kind of consolidated to the area that I put the sachets on the plant leaves. And if there's other leaves touching other plants then they're crawling to those other plants. So I'm sure eventually they'll probably crawl around to more plants in my collection. I might move some of the sachets around to other plants so that more of the beneficial insects can get to other plants in my collection since I do have them spread out all over my plant room. But for right now, I think I'm just gonna leave them where they're at maybe through the weekend and then maybe I can see how things look. So today's Tuesday, so maybe I'll see how things look Saturday or Sunday this weekend and go from there. Okay, I have to tell you this. So I was filming another video. I had just gotten started and I pulled my Monstera off and I found a thrip on it. I'm not joking you. So now they are outside of my cabinet. So I just moved one of those sachets to the Monstera and I'll show you real quick. I can't find the thrip anymore. I like got up and it disappeared and I'm not happy because now they're out of the cabinet and I don't know where it went to. Hello, it's me again. I'm popping back on to say that I found thrip larvae on two more plants. 
um, as I was filming another video. So I'm going to show you and I put some sachets on those plants to hopefully encourage those bugs to get on those plants. So I'll show you real quick. So this is my Monstera obliqua. I was just talking about this plant and you can kind of see on this leaf here, there is a thrip larvae. Show you that white little dot there. This gloriosum was in my cabinet. I didn't even think to check these ones over that I moved it out before I knew, knew the cabinet had thrips. But I just turned this leaf over and it's hard to see, but you can see thrip larvae on this gloriosum. It is Friday. Yeah, it is Friday. I think it's the 29th. I think a couple more days of July left. I am in the middle of watering some plants. My Amazon order just got here. I ordered a second pack of beneficial insects. I got more of the mites that I released already. And then I also ordered some nematodes. So I was actually just watering this Mamii and I cut off a leaf that has thrip larvae on it and thrip damage. So I'm not feeling the best right now. I have a lot of thirsty plants, so I'm just like watering and trying to get through watering. And I'm really glad the bugs are here because I really just got in a bad mood. I'm like, I have to cut off so many leaves on my plants and thrips are just, I'm finding them everywhere. I found them on my mon monsteras the other day that I showed you guys. So I'm not really feeling the best. I'm just like, why? And my calathea in there is like crisping all up because it was covered in thrips. So it's probably going to die. I don't know. I'm just like feeling some sort of way today. So <sighs> plant pests are the worst. So I'm really excited to open these and get them put out. I've never used nematodes before. So I'm just going to water my plants and just focus on watering everything. And then I will probably open up that packet and work on putting the rest of the beneficial insects on. It is very late. It's like 1130. I actually got really stressed earlier watering plants and finding more thrips that I'm just like, I need to go out of the house. So went to dinner and just relaxed for a bit. And so now I'm back at it in my plant room. I'm actually almost done watering. I have like such a mess here. And the only thing I have left to water is a few moss poles and I haven't touched my cabinet yet here. I just like gave everything a thorough water and kind of did like a quick inspection and got rid of leaves that were kind of suspect with thrips. And it'll be a lot quicker just to go around and throw some like nematode water on everything. And then my cabinet, I'll just thoroughly water with the nematode water. I think that's how I'm going to do it. So good thing I checked. So the nematodes are in this little packet. It's like a powder, I guess. It's three different kinds. Yeah, there's this one little green thing that says refrigerate upon arrival. And I'm glad I looked at this because I didn't realize I had to refrigerate them. You're supposed to store it between 36 and 45 degrees Fahrenheit. And then once they're activated, they have to be released within six hours. And it says store them in the fridge and you can store unactivated up to 30 days. So it gives you instructions on what to do. And then you're supposed to quit pesticide use a couple weeks before you use this. And I honestly don't really know how nematodes work. It says they actively hunt for insect larvae, but I'm not really going to show me like mixing the solution and using it and pouring it and all that. Cause I'm running out of storage on my memory card. Cause this vlog is taking up a lot of storage. Yes. I'm going to have fun doing this and I'm kind of going to be weirded out about releasing more bugs in here, but going to do what I have to do to get rid of these thrips. So yeah, I will update you guys when I have more information. So I'll talk to you later. It has been a hot minute since I did a thrip update. I don't even remember when I last updated. Today is Tuesday. Today's Tuesday, August the 9th. Yes. <laughs> So I put all those sachets out. I had a total of 20 and I put, I watered those beneficial nematodes and all the plants 
and I watered my plants and kept the soil somewhat moist and I'm still trying to keep the soil a bit moist while they're supposedly working. Now I have not seen any actual nematodes. I don't know what they're supposed to look like in the soil. I haven't like seen anything crawling around on top of the soil. I basically like I water my plants and I don't even know if there's any beneficial bugs in there. I honestly have no idea. And as far as the sachets go, I feel like this last round, I didn't notice as many mites. So I feel like a lot of them are probably dead before they got to me, which I probably should have gotten my money back for this last round. Cause the first round I noticed a lot more mites. Now I can see mites on the leaves, but a lot of them look like they're dead already. They've kind of spread and dispersed all throughout surrounding plants and everywhere else. So who knows honestly how many are alive in this plant room right now. I honestly am thinking about ordering one more set, although I'm not sure. So if I end up doing that, I'll let you guys know and update you. I either didn't have as many thrips and larvae as I thought, or I just couldn't get them put on all of my plants. So they're not really effectively treating plants that have thrips because there's not enough to go around, so to say. Does that make sense? Because I have over like probably, I don't know, 180 plants in this plant room and I only had 20 sachets. So if leaves were touching, one another, then they could crawl on other plants and spread around. It is not really a good way for me to tell unless the pest outbreak is completely gone. I can't remember if I updated you and there was the thrip I spotted on my philodendron mayoi and I cut that leaf off. If I didn't update you, I'll put a picture on here of what the thrip looked like. There was one thrip I could see on the leaf and I used a limp brush to like get it off and then I cut the dead leaf off. So I went out of town this weekend and I watered everything before I went out of town. And my cabinet behind me, I took everything out and watered it. And I don't really see hardly, I don't really see any mites moving on my plant leaves in there at all anymore. And it said the mites could be released up to six weeks from the packet. So I don't know if like more still has to be hatched. So I'm leaving the sachets on my plants for a while until I just really don't notice them anymore but I honestly don't really see a whole lot still alive. I don't want to spray or clean my plant leaves or use anything on my plants currently right now just because I am using the beneficial bugs. I don't want to harm them. So yeah it's just hard to say. I, it's hard to say if these beneficials are worth it or not or if I should have just gone the insecticidal route. Hello you guys, I am popping back on. It is Friday the 12th of August. I honestly am just so lost at when I started this bug process. I'm gonna have to look back, but I asked the company that sent me the beneficial mics if they could resend the mites because I feel like the last round of sachets, they weren't active at all, the mites. I saw like a few here and there, but nothing like the first round. So they were kind enough to send me another set of 10. I actually just opened the package up. I haven't opened these up. There's 10 of the packets in here and I'm hoping they're live. I haven't opened it up to really see. I feel like I see a couple moving, so maybe they'll, they'll be alive. So this is the same mites that I have ordered. So this will be the third round. If this last round isn't good, I don't think I'm gonna do any more. I don't know. Yeah, I think this is it because I wanna end this video. I put one there, there, and then I put one more here. I kind of made it to where each of the leaves are touching one another because that's the only way they can crawl on all the other plants is if there's leaves touching each other. And so the mites can crawl out of there and get, crawl on all of the plants. I have put all these sachets out and I left all the old ones on actually. I just put the newer ones on some plants that I felt like needed it. Like I put one on that big Monstera and I actually just spotted a thrip on my Monstera Aria. I got him stuck on the limp brush right there. He was just crawling on the backside surprisingly just like right in here. So I put a new sachet. Yeah, we'll see how, how many release this time. I didn't see too many active, like right out of the bag. And I'm gonna go ahead and like turn my grow lights off and 
I'll probably just like check in the morning and see like how many's actually out here and see what they look like. So yeah, I will come back on probably, I'll probably update you. I don't know, maybe in like a few days or a week. I really don't think the nematodes have worked. I'm still finding like fungus gnats flying around and there's no, re no way for me to really tell if nematodes are even active or in the soil or even working. I haven't seen them, so. I don't know, <laughs> but yeah, I will be back on to update at some point here and yeah, I will talk to you guys later. Hello, you guys. I don't remember the last time I updated this video, but it is now Wednesday, August 24th and I'm still finding more thrips. I found thrips all over my Monstera just now. And I'm gonna show you my Tycon that has thrips on the back of it. And at this point, I think I am done with the beneficial insects because I just feel like, I don't know, I feel like I keep checking and I'm just tired of the thrips. I feel like the longer it goes, they're going to continue to lay eggs and spread and it just get worse and worse unless I do something like immediately. I feel like waiting for the beneficial bugs to work has not worked for me because the last two rounds, I feel like just have not been effective. I have not seen a lot of mites. The first round worked great. I just didn't have enough to go around to all of my plants. So I feel like if you are going to try beneficial bugs, you know, definitely get more in the beginning, depending on how many plants you have. I think that was my initial mistake is I did not get enough. And then having like two more rounds of mites being delivered over the last few weeks and them not being effective. I feel like thrips in that meantime had time to like lay eggs and spread and get worse. I have found thrips on so many of my plants now and I'm just like at this point, I'm just over the thrips. I am over them. So yeah, course of action. I'm going to get some Captain Jacks. I'm going to spray my plants, mosquito bit donks to treat fungus gnat larvae in the soil. And I'm probably gonna sprinkle some diatomaceous earth and you know, just get rid of the thrips once and for all. So I'm gonna show you my Monstera Thai constellation here. And on the back side of this leaf, we have more thrips and since this leaf has quite a big, bit of speckling, it's going to be really hard to make them out. See, I can't even spot them. They're gonna be like right, right here. They're like tiny little like grains of rice. It's gonna be really hard to make them out just because of the speckling and that's why they can be hard to spot sometimes because they are so tiny. So I'm going to be spraying this leaf down and this entire plant down with what I have left, making sure to not only get the leaves but the stems and crevices as well. So this is the leaf that I spotted more thrips on. And you can see here, this is just brown from lack of chlorophyll, but this other like browning all over the leaf, you can see. And on the back side, you can see how like brown that is. That is all thrip damage. I should probably just cut this leaf, but I don't wanna cut it. I had a ton of thrips on this new leaf on my Monstera Aria, and you can kind of see the thrip damage. Just that like mottled discoloration and on the edge right there. Yes, yeah, so I had thrips all over, all over this leaf. So I cleaned him and these are some plants in quarantine. I had more thrips on that and it was all over this begonia as well. So I was checking my big Monstera over there, you know, because Thrips love Monstera, and guess what I found all over my Calathea orbifolia. You got it, let me show you. Do you see all of those little turds? Look at them all. All this thrip, just having a party on my Calathea. This is one of the newer leaves, and I just happened to notice it when I was checking my Monstera. I'm like, what the heck is all this? This thing is going in my shower and I am taking care of this immediately. So I will chat with you guys again here soon and off I go to spray now. Do I think beneficial insects are worth it in 
preventing pests or treating for pests? I would say yes and no. So I used beneficial nematodes and I used beneficial mites. And I purchased mine through Amazon. They're from Nature's Good Guys. And I will say that the first round of mites worked really well for me. I ordered a pack of 10 sachets, which contained mites that you hang on your plants and they slowly hatch out of those sachets for up to like six weeks and they will crawl onto your plant and feed and eat those pests. And then once the pests are gone, the mites will eventually cease to appear because they will die off if they no longer have food to eat. Now I have heard from other people that their process or <laughs> experience with using beneficial mites wasn't as kind of as similar to mine whereas they felt they didn't have a lot of active mites and so I ended up ordering three rounds of beneficial mites. The first round I thought was really effective in, in the sense that I saw a lot of mites right away and round two and three I did not see hardly any active mites on my plants and they really did not hatch out of those sachets. Someone did tell me that for mites to really hatch and do well for them is they kind of require higher humidity in order for them to kind of wake up and hatch out of there. I did have mites in my cabinet, which behind me, which is a bit of a higher humidity. It's like 70s, but they were saying that it should be like over 90% for mites to really be that beneficial and to get as many mites out of them as possible. I didn't see anywhere in the instructions that said the mites need high humidity. They didn't say that or state that when I purchased them. So I was under the impression that mites would work in my normal room environment and that I didn't need high humidity for them. So I guess that was a little bit of a sad little <laughs> realization that like, hmm, maybe I should have put them someplace in higher humidity and then put them on my plants so more would hatch and be active. The only regret that I have with beneficial mites and the insects that I used is that I did not get enough from the very beginning. I only ordered 10 sachets, 10 packets, which four I put inside of my cabinet on each shelf. I put two on top because I first noticed them on my anthuriums. And then I put two in the sec, or I put one on the second layer and one on the third layer. And I only had six to go around my entire plant room, which is not enough. So that was my first mistake when ordering beneficial insects. I will say if you are going to use beneficial insects or beneficial mites to treat pests, whether it be thrips, spider mites, get a lot more than what you anticipate that you're going to need. If you want to order enough to put one sachet on every plant, totally recommend that. Or you can kind of group plants a little bit closer together where their leaves are touching and the mites will crawl onto those other nearby plants and spread to those plants. I think for me, in my experience, if I would have had more mites initially to begin with, they would have worked a lot faster and gotten rid of the thrips a lot faster. And because round two and round three were not that effective, I basically had a period of time where I didn't have a lot of mites on my plants. Therefore, the thrips spread more. And I think that's how they got to to stay alive longer on my plants and in my collection is because I didn't treat them better from the get-go. So am I gonna use beneficial mites again? Yes, hands down, because I feel like they did help me out tremendously. Even though I did have to go through and end up spraying my plant collection down, I feel like they did help because I did not treat my cabinet. The mites took care of the thrips in my cabinet. Granted, I can't give all the credits to the mites because I did a lot of work, you guys. I did so much work every day. I would be checking plants constantly. I had a lint brush and I was lint brushing any thrips that I found on my plant leaves. I was cutting leaves off. If I saw thrips, they were gone on that plant immediately. If I saw the larvae, they were gone. I didn't leave them for mites. I either cut the leaf off, I used a lint brush to get them off. So it wasn't just the mites because I feel like if I didn't do any of that work, the the thrips would have spread and continued to spread and continued to spread. So I do give a lot of credit for like getting rid of thrips to me because I feel like I did a lot of work. I did find thrips on some plants still in my cabinet after the initial round of mites because those plants were kind of isolated in there and they weren't touching other plants. And so I did find thrips on some of them, but I was just proactive and checking constantly that if any new thrips did spot up, I would get rid of them and you know, before they got to be worse and spread even more. Next time I do it, I am gonna do it as a preventative. So probably every, I don't know, every two months at least, I'm going to be ordering 
a lot of mites from the very beginning and I'm going to release them on my plants and let them kill any pests. And then I will continue that like every couple of months as a preventative. I used to use that systemic, the granules in my soil. It really did exacerbate my spider mite problem. There is this weird phenomenon that I did some research on that if you have an existing spider mite problem, it actually can cause them to lay more eggs and to like really spread and grow very rapidly. Systemic doesn't get rid of spider mites, it doesn't treat spider mites, and so if you have spider mites, it's going to make your spider mite problem worse. I feel like systemic is not worth that risk. If I do get thrips or mealybugs or another plant pest, I will just treat that plant pest as I get them, and hopefully with the use of routine beneficial insects, I really won't have too much of a pest problem. If you decide to use beneficial insects, keep in mind that your plants need to be free of pesticides before you start treating with beneficial insects, or those beneficial insects could die if they you know, are exposed to the pesticides. So just keep that in mind if you do want to use them. Just have a period of time where your plants aren't being exposed to pesticides before you use the beneficials. I had to change my battery. Another question I got asked about beneficial insects is how do you know like the good mites versus the bad mites on your plants? Spider mites, I don't know, they're kind of different. They're slower moving. They're like those little dots, those eggs on the back of your leaves. You'll see that fine webbing that they make. I didn't see any type of like webbing with these good mites. They were just, you could tell they're, they look a little bit different and good, the good mites are fast moving. So good mites are fast, bad mites are slow. That can help you tell them apart. But honestly, after having the mites and seeing them over my plants and how small and microscopic they really are, you know, they are really doing a good thing. And so I was okay with it knowing that they were getting rid of the evil thrips and the evil pests. So it's 100% okay with it now. Like I am all for it and I am all for treating plant pests with good pests. So thank you guys so much for watching this thrip journey with me and being on this journey with me. It's been a long process. I really crossing my fingers that thrips are gone out of my plant room. It's been over a week now since I treated my entire collection. I have not seen any more thrips. I keep checking on particular plants that I knew that had thrips and I haven't seen any more. I did end up treating my plants with Captain Jack's dead bug. I took every single plant in my collection to the sink, minus one plant that I couldn't because it's attached to the wall. I hosed it off either in the shower or the sink. I sprayed it with Captain Jack's dead bug. I watered with mosquito dunks. I made a tea to kill any fungus gnat larvae and I treated every plant. It took me two days to the entire weekend to treat every plant. And it wasn't necessary, probably not, and it was a lot of probably unnecessary work, but I'm happy I did it because I was able to rinse off my plant leaves. I haven't cleaned any of my plant leaves in like two months almost since I first started using beneficial insects. My cabinet were the only plants I did not spray because I did not see any thrips in here. I honestly think the first round of mites took care of any thrips that were in my cabinet cabinet minus a few random plants that had thrips on it after that first round but I took care of those plants immediately and I did not see any more thrips in my cabinet. You can use diatomaceous earth on top of the soil just remember to keep it dry and keep reapplying it so it's effective. It will get rid of fungus gnats and any crawling insects on top of the soil so diatomaceous earth is a good alternative to use like on top of your soil and Captain Jack's on the leaves and just continue to treat like every few days and eventually you will get rid of the thrips but for now I am considering them gone until I see more <laughs> but it's in the back of my head that they could potentially pop up still but I haven't seen any in a week so crossing my fingers they're gone so it's September right now so I think by the end of the month I'm gonna order from nature's good guys directly and I'm gonna place a order for probably like 50 sachets and put throughout my plant room and then I'm gonna probably do that every two months I think as a preventative because they last for about six weeks and so that will be a good way so that means there's gonna be good mites on my plants probably all the time which I'm okay with you know if they can kill off pests without using pesticides. I am all for that. So that is my plan from here on out. Now whether or not I will change my mind about that, if I don't like having mites on my plants all the time, then I may change my mind. But I feel like for me, I had a good experience with them. I'm glad I tried them. I just wished I had ordered more from the get-go and that's like my only downfall. 
but I am going to use them as a preventative because I did feel like they helped me tremendously. So those are my thoughts on beneficial insects. And I would say it's really up to you and what you want to try on getting rid of thrips. But for me, I think it was helpful to have them and I'm really glad that I tried them out. So hopefully you guys can get rid of your thrips soon if you're watching this. If you have any questions or anything down below, just leave me a comment and I hope you can get rid of them soon. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you guys again soon. Bye.